Лиз. Лиза. Ну, послушай, ну. Достала. Лиз. Лиза, ну успокойся уже. I really liked Hold My Hand. That was 13 minutes of some of the most intense emotion. <laughs> like, like, like medical drama vibes. That was a very effective medical drama to, to crush into 15 minutes. It like, it like saturated the intensity of the emotions for me. So I really liked that. Um, the acting was A plus Hollywood level. Give these, um, three actor, actors and actresses all the awards, all of them. Um, yeah, I really felt it, yo. Um, the scene in the elevator had me on the edge of my seat for real. So, very effective storytelling. Very effective storytelling. Great job. Hold my hand. You have one girl's having a baby, and this doesn't feel like it's a planned pregnancy. You have someone who desperately wants to have a baby, but is high risk and this baby could have several severe issues. So they're going through these very similar but very different situations in the same hospital, both having to make a decision um, and then getting stuck in the elevator with one another when her water breaks and there's complication and she's bleeding and she passes out and they don't know what to do. But the woman, I mean, just seeing how she instantly becomes superwoman while the man is technically useless in this moment, which is usually how it is in labor, <laughs> um, you see her strength and you see her realizing her strength in this moment. And it makes those beginning conversations come to light even more, um, specifically for her, because the decision is, do I do this test on this baby to make sure that they don't have like a condition this test can also put the baby at risk. And for her husband, it's absolutely a no-brainer. Put the baby at risk. I'm going to make sure that my baby is healthy and doesn't have a disability because basically I don't want a baby with a disability. So I'm going to find out ahead of time, which is kind of cruel when you think about it because the baby does have a disability. Yes, that that is unfortunate, but it's like almost like you're throwing it away. And, you know, getting the heads up on whether or not you want to connect with this baby or not. And for her, it's a different experience. This baby has been growing in her. She is connected with this baby from the second she finds out about her being pregnant. She doesn't feel like she has a choice. And I don't feel like he understands that is, and is very um, sympathetic to that. And so in this moment where she brings this child into life and holds it in her hand for a moment, I think that all of that becomes very clear to her, whatever it was making her hesitant about going and making the decision to do that test and everything like that. And then even after that moment and his insensitivity, which, you know, some people was just insens insensitive sometimes and don't even really mean it. And they may mean well, but they allow their own selfish wants and needs to cloud their judgment. For him, what he wants more than anything is to find out that he has a healthy baby. And they want the same thing, but what she wants more than anything is to have the baby and um, and make sure the baby is safe. And the test essentially could result in the baby not being safe. It's a risk she's not willing to take. So even after going through all of that, him to still say, so yeah, we have to decide on this test. I think in that moment she decided and she says, never wait for me again. She's done with him. She feels stronger without him. She knows she doesn't need him. His concern is more about the baby not having Down syndrome. You know, so much it'll put it at risk and her at risk just to make sure. She's more concerned with just having this baby. And she eventually goes on in her pregnancy and you see that she doesn't have this man by her side and she seems more at peace for it. And so, yeah, it was it was a beautiful juxtaposition uh, between these two women and seeing how they both, you know, were able to grow through that collision with each other, if you will. I really enjoyed this film. The old baby born in an elevator almost trope um, was just fantastically used here. 
haven't seen it in a long time, so it was, it's almost uh, fresh again, really. But it's used, again, to great effect. Um, really strong writing, really great performances. Uh, cinematography was spot on, as well as the direction, all together. This was just a really strong film. Simple, effective, um, really touching, just really visceral. Uh, we get in right in there um, with real human drama. So absolutely enjoyed this one. Um, really congratulations to everyone involved in this piece. They should be really proud. So I just finished watching Hold My Hand. Um, I love the film. Uh, I thought it was great. Um, you know, this film is really cinematic, uh, has great production value. Um, the acting is great from everybody across the board. Uh, has a really great moody, dramatic tone. Um, I, you know, I thought the storytelling was really, really strong here. Um, it's a very succinct, fast-paced story. Um, you get you get into the characters right away and you just get sucked into the story. Um, it's very high stakes. The conflict is immediate and urgent. Um, you know, from the moment the, from, from the moment the film starts, it just continues to escalate. Um, all of this I thought created an experience that was really gripping. Um, yeah, overall I thought the film was great and it was a well-told story. Hold my hand excellent tension throughout the piece and i think it built up accidentally to the the climactic moments but i think the heart of it was the tension within the relationships and watching the dynamic between mother daughter husband wife um and just the intricacies of their lack of communication or or power dynamics um, or where things weren't quite jiving was really interesting. And both relationships kind of um, bounced off one another in a really intriguing way. The tensions obviously built up to an extremely visceral scene in the elevator. Deeply difficult to watch, but I, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I thought it was really well done. Um, and the dynamics between the three in one of the most high stakes situation I thought was really brilliantly acted. Um, I thought it was a great message and a really interesting piece. I've never kind of seen that dealt with of how someone can really reveal themselves in one situation and it can completely change how you see them. And uh, it almost gave the mother to be a, a glimpse into what her future could be. And just that message of, of taking charge of your own destiny and your competence to know that you are capable without somebody. Hold my hand. Oh, this had some great cinematography. And what a great story this had too. Thank you so much for the subtitles the filmmakers put in. That was great. You know, you can, you can tell from what's going on in the picture, but having the subtitles, it just, it helps so, so much. Um, this story was really well told. And the filmmakers did a great job in kind of building up this suspense and what was going to happen. And I think everybody did a fantastic job acting too in this. I, I loved it. I really, I really thought that it was really well done. Hold My Hand was a great film. I loved the ambiguous ending and the, you know, her inner thoughts and feelings at the end was sort of left up to interpretation on how what she was feeling and why she left her uh, partner. Um, I also enjoyed the whole woman, women empowering each other and um, supporting each other theme in this. Uh, the whole scene with Lisa giving birth in the elevator was done really well. Um, I could just, I could feel the, the energy and the urgency in that scene. All the actors did an amazing job. Um, and also just the dynamic between, um, Masha and her, her partner, um, I thought that was done really well, played really well between the actors, and you can understand why she left him based on his reaction in the elevator. She sort of realized, realizes that she can do this on her own, she doesn't need him, and, you know, his input isn't helpful at all. It makes you wonder why she was with him in the first place. Maybe she thought she needed him 
because of this pregnancy or had to stay with him because of this and then through this experience she realizes that she can do it all on her own and she just realizes the power that she has as a woman um, through helping Lisa and finding her own strength so I thought that, that was a really cool theme and I thought that came through really well um, and the ending because of that was very satisfying even though we don't see you know her throughout those six months uh, you see that she's in a better place and I really liked uh, that that um, look into her future at the end there. So overall, yeah, I really like this film.